My name is Ayotunde Farin. I'm CEO of Swifter Systems and Services Limited. My typical day starts uh, with, an, with exercising. Um, I exercise a lot. Um, I run and I play lawn tennis. Uh, when I run, uh, it easily gets my day activated. And when I play lawn tennis, I get refreshed. As an entrepreneur, you need a lot of resilience. There are a lot of challenges here and there you are confronted with from time to time. Uh, so you need to be thorough, you need to be tough. Um, on that background, I also think uh, it's important uh, for, for you to do everything possible to make your customers happy. I mean, the whole essence of running a business is to make customers happy. So that is very important. Then um, aside from that, um, I think you need to build your business around people and process. I mean, you can't be everywhere at the same time. You can't be physically everywhere at the same time. So you need to, build pro you need to have processes and these processes have to be automated. I mean, for us as a technology company, that's, what one, well, that's one of the things we do. We automate our clients' processes, you know, uh, and make sure that um, a lot of manual operations are discontinued, right? Um, I mean, that is, that is a, a core part of our, our offering. Apart from that, you need to keep learning. I mean, today's market is very, very dynamic. Um, and um, consumers or customers' needs change quite fast, you know. Uh, for us, as a technology company, um, we support those changes, you know. And uh, we also propel business transformation by deploying strategies and uh, technology. Uh, I mean, the right strategies and the right technology. Also, you need to keep learning. You know, that is very, very important. Uh, the market today is very, very dynamic. Um, and um, customers' needs change very, very fast, right? And um, um, as a technology company, um, we support these changes. And then we also propel uh, business transformation uh, in the market uh, using the right strategies and um, technology, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, you also need to keep upgrading. As, as a business, if you don't keep upgrading, um, then you may not grow. So for you to continuously grow, you have to keep upgrading. COVID-19, interesting. Um, COVID-19, first of all, I must say that it changed the way we worked completely. Um, and apart from that, um, it also changed the way we served our customers. Um, uh, one other thing I must mention is that COVID-19 also changed uh, the spending pattern uh, of our customers. Um, some of them had to exercise some restraints uh, with their budget and um, expend or expenditure, right? Um, but one thing we did to respond to the pandemic uh, was that we innovated very, very fast. We started um, innovating as fast as possible. I must say that it was also a period um, for us to actually uh, begin to build new solutions. You know, it gave us the opportunity to take some step backward and then start building new solutions. Um, uh, in addition to that, uh, um, COVID-19 also uh, made us to start pushing products that actually solve some of the problems or limitations created by uh, the pandemic. Uh, we also pushed out our ERP solution. Uh, these solutions helped organizations to work from anywhere, you know. Um, and it also made, I mean, it helps them to keep their teams together. It helps them to, to keep their organization together, regardless of where they, are, they were working from or where they they work from. 
and of course this is still we still push this product very very aggressively because um i mean the pandemic is still out there covid 19 is still out there and uh, we've been told that uh, it's still going to be with us for a while so i mean we have to respond um efficiently First of all, government needs to relax, like I've said, government needs to relax um, some rules, you know. Regulations need to, uh, need to be friendly, the legislation needs to be friendly, you know, so that um, we can have more access to, to data, you know, we can have access to data connectivity, you know, like I said. And um, I, I think there's a tussle. Uh, sometimes between the government and the private sector um, particularly around things like right of way government is trying to make money uh, in the short term to to uh, um, i mean to allow uh, private sectors to expand internet infrastructure you know i mean they should think, government need to think long term and let people bring in investment expand then relax the rules expand the infrastructure there's so much money to make by the time people start creating value. There's, I mean, government will make money from taxes. Government will make money. I mean, government will be happy that they've created employment. The impact of, I mean, unemployment level will be reduced and all of that. So, I mean, we need to solve that problem of uh, poor infrastructure uh, in, in the area of internet connectivity, you know. And of course, like I said, education is very important, you know. Uh, the quality of your, the education you have has a direct impact on the quality of value you will produce. You know, so more people need to get educated, right? And um, for me, I think it is very important to solve that problem. I mean, at primary and secondary levels first. You know, I mean, I'm sure. Um, uh, I mean, people people will move on from there. <laughs>